Happy Homebrew Wednesday, everybody. Um, I know it's been a couple weeks since my last update, and I'm sorry, but like everybody else, I'm motherfucking busy. Um, okay, enough of that. Um, what am I going to do here? This is one hell of a predicament. Let me tell you. Uh, took me a couple hours to figure out that timer yesterday, and I'm still not quite happy with it because the counter counts up, but I'm going to work around it. Um, yeah, so that's the inside of the box. I've got uh, the timer hooked up, and that's kind of uh, working. I've got the uh, HLT PID hooked up, and that's working, and I've got the alarms working as well. I've got a little test probe here that I've been working with. Um, if you'll notice on the front, hey, look at the clicky. I actually got the key. So that's pretty cool. I don't know if you saw this in the before, I actually sanded off all of the uh, paint, so now the whole thing is stainless. Um, I've got the uh, Got these mounted, so that's on there. Um, everything up in there, probably pretty dark. Um, it's all the wiring. How am I supposed to document all those cables? Because that's a lot of motherfucking cables. You know what I'm saying? A lot of cables. Um, yeah. If you are building the electric brewery with a control panel like that and you're using the Sesto B3S timer and the JLD612 PIDs send me a message and I'll give you my diagrams but trying to explain that mess I, I would but I don't think you have the patience for it let me know um, I'll go through each component one by one if everybody says go ahead but you know um, the most important thing is let's see fire this bad boy up see we got power see I've only got one of the uh, PIDs hooked up to a thermocoupler or a thermocoupler hooked up to the PIDs yet let's see um, I do have another voltmeter that I ordered and it did arrive it's in the box um, but I want to change out one of the uh, 240 to 12 volt converters because that actually that's actually fried so um, why I don't know um, one of them works great the other one didn't they were kinda cheap so it's just to uh, you know buy another cheap one and see if it works and if it does great Okay, um, so how does this stuff work? Well, basically, so let me come over here. Sorry for the uh, shaky camera sort of thing, but I'm gonna put my hands on the thermocoupler, and you're gonna see the temperature rise. See, it's 13. It's gonna go up 14, maybe straight to 15. Here we go, and then I'm gonna turn the alarm on. The alarm is basically right here and we want it to go off up here to sound the alarm and the light to go off and when it gets to 22 that actually should work so it should only take a couple more seconds here and we'll see if that actually works exciting isn't it <laughs> there we go yes we've got contact Eddie now I'll let go of the thermocoupler and I'll just turn the alarm off. So, progress. It's working. Alright, next is the timer. Um, so on the timer, we've got it set to zero. Um, now if I... The reset button, the, the explanations, and I bought the wrong timer is what it is. I bought the wrong timer. So, um, yeah, so I got the uh, Sesto uh, B3S. 
quadratic timer means absolutely nothing to me. Um, but basically, it's got four settings, four possibilities for alarms, and um, yeah. So um, it doesn't have like a, a reset sort of thing. It's got more like a start, and that's about it. So I'm using this button up here to actually start the thing. So now you can see it's counting up, and I've got the alarm set at one minute here. So when it reaches one minute, the alarm will go off because I've got the alarm turned on. Doesn't matter if I turn it off or turn it on. When it gets to one minute, the alarm will turn on. Uh, the pump stuff that still works. Um, the electrician still hasn't come to install my 32 amp fuse, so kind of waiting on that. Um, yeah, I'm gonna have to pay him a visit here pretty quick. I did order the um, uh, the the uh, thermocouplers from the electric brewery as well, so I'm going to get those. Um, there's an issue with uh, delivery. They used the wrong address, and so I need to intercept it as soon as it reaches Norway, and then the post office says that they can change the address once it's in country. Yeah. Oh, hey, there we go. So we reached the minute, and now I've got the alarm to go off for, I think, 10 seconds. Or no, 30 seconds. So. When the 30 seconds is over, the alarm will go off automatically. Yeah. So that's hooked up. That's working. So I still have the other PIDs to uh, hook up and uh, also set the, the alarm uh, basic cables. And then uh, I'm getting pretty damn close. I just need the electrician to come and put this up, place up. All right. Um, so. Besides the electrician and the thermocouplers coming from Electric Brewery, I did also order um, a screen for the boil kettle. And that was shipped off um, to the right address, and that got here. So if we look down here inside the boil kettle, you'll see that down there, the screen. And it's about one and a half inches below the element. So I'm hoping that that's going to be okay. I'm going to try it. Sorry about the hand there. So I'm going to try it. If it works out, great. If it doesn't, then I'll have to try and find another solution. Um, also finished building the, uh, the boxes for to host the elements. Got the uh, other one over here. So that's all hooked up and ready to go. Again, still waiting on the electrician and uh, yeah. So I've got, uh, I, well, I still haven't got actually the, uh, I got the PIDs hooked up to the uh, solid state relay, but I don't actually have any juice going through the solid state relay yet. So I actually haven't had a chance to test the light or anything like that. So still working on it. but. Um, that's where I am. I um, want to wish you guys a happy Homebrew Wednesday. And uh, yeah, take care.